NASCAR continues in a moment. It shouldn't surprise anyone that one year car owner is an NFL head football coach. Part of preparing for a Winston Cup race involves practice. Here at Joe Gibbs Racing, that means pit stop practice, which serves three purposes. Number one, not only to get better on the Sunday afternoon pit stops, but also to have a second string or second team in case someone were to get hurt, they could fill in. And also here at Joe Gibbs, a couple of the guys' wives are expecting babies. They want to be ready to have someone fill in when they have to leave on a Sunday afternoon. Let's watch. That's how it's done. I love the sound of a pit stop, too. I do, too. <laughs> and, you know, it's great that we don't have all the, the car noise above it. Yeah, right. Yeah, we can break the water to do the impact wrench and everything else. And look here, Mark Martin closing in right on the back bumper of Rusty Wallace. They make a, a lap around the shop, I understand, to, uh, to set up the thing. To come into the pit stop. Yeah. Mark Martin running in second position. Rusty Wallace and... Mark is right there with us. Here's a Fran Field summary. Now the cars were running last lap. We have moved past the halfway point. We've completed 255 of the 500 laps. You can see 13 cars are now on the lead lap with Brett Bodine, who is currently 14th, started second position, being the first car lap down. Mike mentioned that Rick Wilson is back out in the Richard Petty STP Pontiac. He was in for major long repairs after he got into the wall. And I'll tell you what, Mark Martin is being held up right now, but he's trying to come on the inside. The crowd rose to its feet here on the main straightaway. The uh, fans are up cheering, and they're now seeing Mark Martin take the lead away from Rusty. Watch Mark Martin already put a car linked on. Here's Morgan Shepard and Davey Allison in the battle for 11th position. And they aren't too far ahead of the leaders, but they're running as hard as they can to try to stay out in front and stay in the lead lap. In fact, Mark Martin is coming up on Jeff Bodine, the last car in the lead lap, currently running in the 13th position. And you know, of all the victories that the Wood Brothers have experienced in their long association in Winston Cup racing, they've never won a race here. And there is the leader, and you can see how close those cars are to being lapped. There's Jeff Bodine. They had the hood up on that car on the pit stops, trying to cure that mist that Jerry Punch was talking about. It doesn't appear as though they've been successful. Jeff Bodine and Ted Musgrave remain between Mark Martin and Davy. Oh, and Ernie Irvin spins hard and crashes in the wall up in turn one. There Bristol, he is. Bristol bites another top contender. So this is safe. Jeff Bodine, Davy Allison, Morgan Shepard from going a lap down. Ernie Irvin, who was running third, crashes into the second turn wall. He's driving the car away. I just saw the tail end of it. I was kind of like you a while ago, Bob. I just saw the tail end of it, and I don't know. And I might say you almost scared me to death. <laughs> you yelled at me. Sorry about that. Don't do that. You can see a good bit of damage done to the left rear quarter panel. They'll be able to pull that out and keep him going. I don't know how competitive the car might be because it's probably been the rear clip. Now, pit stop time. This is the eighth caution of the day. Mark Martin has found his pits. Jerry Punch is there. Lap 263, and Rusty Wallace brings the Miller Genuine Draft Pontiac on the pit road, taking a look at his crew going to work. Six to the top of your screen, Mark Martin, Valvoline Ford on the bottom of your screen, the Pontiac being serviced. On left side tires now going on Rusty Wallace's car. Left side tires, Mike Wallace. Mark Martin's fourth Thunderbird. Wallace's car is down and away in 17.4 seconds. Here is Dale Earnhardt, Mark Martin, and Kyle Petty in that order back on the speedway. Ricky Rudd also pulling out. Davey Allison is away. So is Michael Waltrip. The Sitco Ford of Morgan Shepard remains on pit road. Now it's down off the jacks 
and is moving. The Ernie Irvin car has been pulled behind the wall to uh, get some repairs. And here is Irvin's mishap in replay. I don't know. Did he get uh, touched there by that white car? I don't know if he did or not. Is that so? Hard to tell. Let's see. Let's back it up. Back it up. Doesn't look like it. Right at the bottom right corner of your screen. I don't know. It's hard to say from, from that say. angle and, uh, and shot. In any case, Urban did slide up to the wall and damages the Kodak film Chevrolet. He's behind the wall. We're under our eighth caution of the day, and we'll be back in a moment. Back at Bristol, still under caution. Work going on on the Kodak film Chevrolet, driven by Ernie Irvin, who crashed winning third. Here's Jerry. Trying to repair the Kodak Chevrolet. Ernie still sitting in the car. Ernie, what happened up there? Well, I was um, passing 75 car on the outside, and, um, you know, I don't know if I come down on him or he just got up into me, but, um, you know, it's just one of them deals. There are a lot of cars running around slow, and this racetrack's too narrow for that. Ernie Irvin short and sweet, but apparently his car looped into the wall. Heavy damage on both the front and rear of this Kodak Chevrolet. No chance at victory. They're going to try to get it back in and get some valuable Winston Cup points. We are under caution here at Bristol International Raceway. 267 laps in the books. Back with more after this. We go back to green. With Rusty Wallace leading now Dale Earnhardt, who's in second position. And Mark Martin in third. Has Dale Earnhardt led this race yet today? That's exactly what I was thinking, Ned. I don't believe so. I don't believe that he has led today. He's going to get five bonus points. No, he has game. not. Nope. Wallace, Martin, Jarrett, Michael, Brett, Shepard, Allison, and Jeff have all led laps, but not Earnhardt. So he needs the five points. And I'll tell you what, it doesn't look like he's going to have enough strength to go up and pass Rusty Wallace to lead the race. We can see that Rusty already put a couple of car links on him. He has led the most laps, led 179 so far, and Mark Martin has led the second most number of laps, 36. There's Derry Cope. Oh, here's a crash. That's the eight car. Sterling Marlin is into the wall. No, still no caution flag. Yeah, you can see some going. damage to the right front. That's the second accident he's been involved in. Jerry, did you see that down there? Bob, it, it happened right in front of us here, Bob, on the front straightaway. Sterling Marlin trying to go around the car number 20 and Joe Ruffin. They came together. Marlin's car veered directly up against the wall, tagged the concrete. He kept the car up on the high groove out of the traffic lane, and thus we have no caution. And he has taken the Rebestas car behind the wall down uh, at the entrance to Pitt Road here on the front stretch. So they'll go to work on that car. No caution, though. 275 laps are in the book. And boy, it is a good battle up front. Mark Martin has caught Dale Earnhardt. And Earnhardt is right behind Wallace. And Martin has been working on Earnhardt for the last couple of laps. Earnhardt pulls down to the inside of the racetrack, lets Martin go up on the outside. This is the battle for second. Mark Martin to the outside, Earnhardt to the inside. And a spin, Bobby Labonte spins over in turn two, just goes up, maybe touches the wall a little bit, not much. Just barely grazed it. He's headed the wrong direction at the entrance oh, to the back Oh, stretch. careful, boys, careful. Woo! Man, oh, man, you're this is Brett Bodine trying to get a lap back. He's racing Rusty Wallace hard. He gets down to the inside. Oh, and Brett, Brett spins. spins. Right in front of Mark Martin, but he spins to the inside of the racetrack. Stop it right there. Don't hit it. He didn't hit a thing. Perfect. So it really didn't cost him very much. He, he lost some track position. He didn't get the lap back. He tried hard enough. He made, well, he's got the car fired now. He puts his first gear, so he'll be able to drive away. Now here is the last lap. Now let's watch what Brett Bodine does when what? the accident occurs. Okay, the spin had already happened. You saw Bobby Labonte's car, and here comes Brett Bodine in the green car on the outside of Earnhardt, on the inside of Mark Martin. Races hard off of turn four, trying to get under Rusty Wallace, and they touch a little bit, and just enough to send Brett around. So Brett Bodine doesn't get the lap back, spins in the process, 
We'll take another break and be right back with more from Bristol.